Uh-uh. How y'all doing? What's going on? Listen, I look tired today. Look, let me pull back a little bit so y'all can't see my stomach because I've been eating, baby. I've been eating my food. Lost you guys. What's up? Dr. Heavenly here. Let me pull my pants up, baby. Get myself together and talk about what we got to talk about, y'all. What's up? Y'all come on in. Oh, my eyes are red, but that's okay. I don't care. Turn y'all up. Y'all see my volume. Don't be up. What's going on? Listen, it's Sunday night. It's Sunday. You know, I got to work uh, Monday and Tuesday, but I'm off after that, so we're going to get into it. Listen, make sure y'all subscribe. If y'all have not subscribed to my YouTube, make sure you do it now, because um, I'm going to have all the exclusive insights on Married to Medicine, um, uh, the business of love. I got Dr. Heavenly Biz subscriptions. I got Queen B. Y'all want to read? Got Jewel Tank, and I got quad books somewhere. I need to go get it. And I got to go to bed sleepy head somewhere. Anyway, what's up, y'all? Y'all got any questions for Dr. Heavenly? Because um, my topic tonight is how to find your king. Who want a king out there, y'all? Listen, they say it ain't no good men out there. That's what the people is saying. They saying it ain't no good men. They say the men ain't shit. They don't want to do right by y'all. And the women are hardworking and they've been doing everything right. And <sighs> y'all just can't find no man. So um, I'm here to give y'all some insight today. No, I did not go to church. Praise the Lord. I went to see my mom. Long story. But um, I went, uh, um, you know, a lot of people say men ain't, you know, no good. It's hard to find a good man. And, um... What do you do? You know, we in Atlanta. Now, the first thing I would say, and I said this before, is location, location, location. It's hard to find a man in Atlanta. Now, I mean, you know, whatever God has for you, he has for you, though, wherever you at. So you can find a man in Atlanta if you want to. Um, you just got to do the right things. And we talked about this a little bit last time, but I'm going to go into some of the topics. Remember, I talked about being competent, being consistent, okay? Putting yourself in the right place, meaning your location. Um, making sure that you um, keep doing the th same things the same way. And you got to know what you're doing. Um, let's talk about it. Can I talk about how I met my man a little bit? Listen, I'm going to tell y'all this. And y'all, you know, people that really follow me know how I met my man. I met my man at school. Great place to meet a man. But I'm 51 years old. What do you do when you're 51? When you are 25, 22, 18, 19, do you have to make a certain amount of money to find a good man like Damon or be in those social circles and have access to good men? I will tell you this, Sooks. My hands are dry. Men are looking for the same thing we're looking for. They're looking for the same damn thing. They're looking for a beautiful woman, Right? They're looking for somebody who's energetic, somebody that looks good, athletic, somebody who's making money too. This 2021. These men are not. What did Jay-Z say? He said he don't want nobody to be in a leech with him, right? He don't want anybody to be a leech. He wants somebody who's a boss getting money with him. So if you want a multi-millionaire, chances are you need to be one. But this is what we talk about in my book. Because, you know, and you, you know, in so many books I've read, it says the same thing. You get points. I'm just call it points. So you get you get um you get cookies, if you will, for having certain things. Because if you're a multi-millionaire woman, you probably could find a beautiful man that's athletic or whatever, and you're not all of that, but you're gonna end up taking care of him. How that work? I mean, it could work. Everybody's situation is a little bit different, but I think that if I'm making all the money and my husband is beautiful and he's sitting home working out, whatever he's doing. He's the bitch, right? I mean, because like, like somebody said, who said that young Jeezy, if you the woman making the money now, I could have as many men as I want. And if I could take care of you, my bitch now, and when I come home, I want my, my food done. I want my bath water ran. I want my car washed. I want my pool clean. I want my tennis court pressure washed. Okay? So it's all about giving and getting. Think about it. You're not going to get an MD. You're not going to get a highly educated man if you don't have a high school diploma. Chances are. It could happen, but chances are. Like I say, you got to be exactly what you want. So if you want this man with all this education, you want him to be articulate, you want to be him certain, 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 you want to be him a certain mindset, you want to make a certain amount of money, you better up your skills. For real. For real. If you looking tired and you ugly and you think you're going to get a beautiful man and you 400 pounds? No. No. 
So you got to know what you can get and don't be unrealistic. Like y'all go after dudes. And my whole thing is if a dude making $20 million and your ass at the grocery store making $12 an hour, if he do date you, usually chances are he going to cheat on you or he's not taking you seriously. I'm just telling you what it is. The man looking for the same thing we looking for. And to get a man... You have to do the same things that the women do. They want them to be funny. They want them to be stress-free. Take the street. When they come home, they want this to be their castle. They don't want to be stressed. They want a woman that's free going. If you got an attitude all the time, always nervous. Y'all know how some of y'all bitches are just nervous and, you know, and, and just upset all the time about nothing. Bitch, take you a Xanax or something and calm the hell down. Do whatever you need to do to keep yourself together because a man going to just quickly call you crazy. Oh, he's gonna control you, right? Um, Arisha Wilkins. He's gonna control you. Chances are. Now it's an exception to every rule. Don't call me, don't at me. But I'm telling you, chances are if the man making all the money, he gonna treat you a certain kind of way. Same thing if a woman. You could be, and I'm talking about black people now. I don't know about the other people, because um it's a little bit different. Cause I've seen it work where the man stays home and he's Mr. Mom, and the woman go out and work and she and it worked fine. But you know, sisters. And I'm just being straight here. Soon as your ass get mad, this my shit. You can get the hell out. You know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. So we're going to pray for everybody. Women like Quad is attractive and doesn't have an MD, but she was able to marry one. Quad came with a lot of qualifications, though, bitch. Don't put Miss Quad. Don't count Miss Quad out. Miss Quad is on a certain level of intelligence. Because she, when she was married, she helped that man uh, build his, his practice. Ask her. She actually got him on all the insurance. You're you, you going to give a little to get a little. Now, like I said before, you get points for different things. Quad is an educated woman. She has a post back program. She was a pharmaceutical rep. And she's very, very intelligent. So like I said, you get points for everything. She's beautiful. She got a pretty ass. A lot of dudes like that, right? And then this man, you know, he might have, you know, been, you know, a little bit regular. And he always wanted a girl that was a 10. And she's exciting. She's fun. She's bubbly. So I'm saying, you get your points with Quad. Quad can't get an MD. Quad can't get an MD. Now, this is why I listen to Dr. Heavenly Money Wise. I have my own job, my own. That's all I'm trying to tell you. And that's what I'm teaching my daughter. Listen, you got an option. Like, to me, if I stayed home every day, my husband could pay these bills because I'm not overextending. We've been had this house. All you know, I got a lot of shit, but, you know, I ain't got to have it. But what I'm saying to you, if I didn't want to work tomorrow, I don't have to. But I don't think my husband would change. I've never tried it because I've always had my job because I always wanted to work. But if I stop working tomorrow, I don't think he'd disrespect me because I, he know I could get up tomorrow. I got a, I'm board certified. And a doctor of dental surgery. You know what I mean? And I got a business acumen about me too. And I think I'm beautiful. I think I'm fun, loving. I think I'm exciting. I think we have a good time. I could cook. Don't get into my sexual skills. We don't even want to talk about that now. We just gone on. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and then daddy needs me. Like, daddy's so smart. He don't think regular. Like, he need me for the for the simple stuff, if you will. I'm trying to say this in a nice way. He thinks so high that the little stuff, he will miss miss it. So, he need me. And if it weren't for me, I'm just going to go on and say it. Hopefully, he ain't going to never see this scene down there. We went. A man needs a good woman, okay? A man needs a good woman. That's what he needs. And I tell my boys every day, them little red chicks that's looking at a house like they ain't never seen no house. Don't bring them things to my house. Don't bring them over here. I don't like it, okay? But anyway, I don't know where we was at, but I'm 32, educated, financially stable, no kids, can cook clean, and cannot find a good man to save my life. What you look like, boo? Because a lot of these bitches, and like, I meet women all the time, and I think, they crazy. That's why they can't find no man. I know in Atlanta, it's a lot of beautiful women here. A lot of women that are educated. A lot of women that got it going on. But they crazy as hell. I mean, you know, I'm crazy in a certain way, but I'm not crazy not to know that I got to treat my man like a man. Like when he come in here, this is his, you know what I'm saying? This is his castle. I make sure he ate. Now, I might not cook. I might not cook ever, but I make sure he got something to eat. I make sure the house is clean. Now, I don't clean up shit no more because, you know what I'm saying? But I had people come in and clean. I make sure that's done. Even with my daughter, I make sure everything is done. He ain't got to do nothing. When the kids were little, 
If I wanted to work, I did everything. I hired a nanny so I didn't have to do everything. So he wasn't bothered. Like he did stuff when he wanted to. And he did it all the time because he liked, you know, hanging with the kids and doing stuff with the kids. But I made sure he felt like the king of his castle. And that's one of the things on the show on oh, Mary the Medicine is I try my best not to disrespect my husband because these men are sick. Men are sensitive, more sensitive than women ever are. And they have ego. I'm not talking about one. I'm not talking about two. I'm talking about mostly all of them, the same thing. They may not say it. They may not act like it. But if you put them down over and over again, eventually they gonna get sick of that shit. So Chad, don't be looking at my man. Yeah, we know except power wash the house. That's funny. My house is immaculate, boo. Come, come see about me, okay? So that was a that was a haterade statement. And it really bothered me because you know, I, you know, you don't call no black woman house dirty. That's what you don't do. Not when your man out there suck get in his dick sucked in the car. Don't do that. Okay? Don't talk about me when you doing your man doing that. But um, no, nah, my house is immaculate. And I, I yeah, I'm just saying, I've been I've been working a long time. My husband working a long time. We've been very blessed. Um so God is good. Uh, X-ray point, newly single, I can relate. Royer, Franklin, you always come to me. Uh, happy Sunday, Auntie. Hopefully you had an awesome... Shit, I can't never see. An awesome day. What? What's one thing, what's one thing you are excited to show this season, the show we haven't seen from you? What's one thing you are excited to show us this season um, that we haven't seen from you? Um, that's a great question. Uh, baby, if I could come back, listen. I think you saw a softer side of Dr. Heavenly. I think you saw a more vulnerable, if you will, you know. Um, I'm not trying to tell my story, but um, it's a lot going on in my life right now. And I'm actually showing more, if you will. I'm still in the shit, though. Don't, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. I'm with the shit, though. But, uh, yeah, you're going to see a more vulnerable side of me. Um, and that's one of the things you probably haven't really seen so much before. Or maybe you have. I don't know. How much do you pay? How much they pay Contessa to turn on y'all? Where you even get that from, Symphony? Symphony, you being messy, okay? We don't do mess over here on this channel. Tina Turner, you right. I love your home. Yeah, I mean, you know. But God is good. Yes, we did. Are you pregnant? Do I look pregnant? Because I'm 51 years old, so if I'm pregnant, that's a miracle. Ask Dr. Jackie. It's very hard for somebody my age to get pregnant. I am not all the way through menopause. They say it's perimenopausal, so I probably got an egg. I probably could get pregnant. I'm some people that's 48, 50 that's having babies. It ain't unheard of. But baby, I don't want no more kids. I get three. I get that man three babies. Three. I ain't pregnant, girl. No, I'm not. This my stomach sticking out. I've just been eating a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's all. My breast bend is big. You're just sitting it at an angle. That's all. That's been like that. I think your personality bigger than the show. Is that good or bad? Is that good or bad? Like bigger than the show? That means it's too big? I don't know. Sips tea. Our Simone and Jackie back friends. Y'all gonna have to watch the show to get that. You could make another pretty daughter. I could, but Chad, my body ain't with it. Listen, when you had these kids, it takes something away from you, don't it? Somebody who had kids know what it is. I had my first child at 26, I think 26, yeah, 26. My second child at 30, and my third child at 34. So I spread them out four years apart, and 34 after 35 is high risk. Y'all know that. Talk to Dr. Jackie. Women do it all the time, but it's special things you need to do. A lot of times you got to really stay on it if you're over 35. I, why are we even talking about this? Because I ain't even thinking about having no more babies. Where y'all getting that from? Them puppies look good, too. Them puppies is tearing my damn house up. Oh, my God. Now I need pressure washing my shit for real because them damn dogs is everywhere. Everywhere, but I love my doggies. I think they keep the house safe. You can hear somebody if they outside them motherfuckers. They, they just, they crazy. But um, I love them. And they wild. Like, they vicious, if you will. So we gonna thank God for the dogs. They look like wolves. I, I'm pursuing my dreams in 2022. I just resigned from my job, making six figures. Live, live, live your life. I guess she's saying love your life. 
That's right. Love your life. Love it. Do whatever you need to. My sister, I just talked to her. You know, we haven't talked in a while. And she was saying that, you know, during COVID, she stopped working at the job she was working on. And she does candles now. You know what I mean? And she sells them wholesale. So I was like, you know what? Whatever I can do to help. Because, um, you know, her daughter's name is Heavenly. She called them Heavenly Candles. I could buy them as is wholesale and sell them in the store. However, I can help you. But... She quit her, well, she didn't quit her job. She, you know, COVID happened and the people didn't ever come back. So she made candles and she making six figures making candles. Like she making thousands every month making candles. Go figure. So when you say you quit your job, the thing you got to do is be consistent though. You got to be consistent. Like I told you with business, we talked about business, right? You got to be consistent. You got to have a great product that people going to come back for, right? And you got to be competent in what you're doing. So, yeah, quit your job, but just know you, you got to have a plan. And oh, your own business is not for everybody. I'm just say that. One thing I can tell you is um, to be very vulnerable. I don't know if I can say this, but, you know, it's part of my storyline. So I, I'm going to leave it alone. But um, we're going to pray about it. But um, um, I have a master's degree. Five, two. You short. 136 pounds. Okay. No kids. All right. Let's see. No kids and a member of AKA. I live in Georgia. You know, y'all come stuck up in the AKA. I'm just saying. I know I'm wrong to say it. But don't be stuck up. Men don't like stuck up women. I'm not saying that you are. I'm just saying that Jackie or AKA. And I know how they come. You know what I'm saying? They, men like down to earth women. They want a woman that's especially for them. And they're very territorial if you know it or not. So if you got a man or you're looking at somebody or you're trying to date somebody... You can date other people, but don't let him know. Don't ever let him see you with anybody. Don't even let him think you know anybody. Like some of the girls be out there like he dating other people. So I'm going a, I'm to a date up. You can do it, but don't let him know. Because if you do, he's never going to take you seriously. So if you're too stuck up, not saying that AK is a stuck up. I'm not saying it at all. I said it, but I'm taking it back. What I'm saying to you is a man like a down-to-earth girl that's going to cook and have sex. Maybe, you know what I'm saying, have a drink. Don't nobody want to be stuck up all the time, Dr. Jackie. Because she got a man, but she, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, like I say, you get you get points for different things. So, praise the Lord. I don't know if I said the wrong thing. Y'all can go on and say what I'm like Giselle. What about Giselle? I don't know what you said. I want to honor the cast copy of your book. Come to Heavenly Beauty. I'm going to do a book, book, book thing. And I'm going to invite Quad out. I'm going to invite Dr. Jackie out. I'm going to invite Toya got a book. I think Simone coming out with a book. Everybody got a book. Portia got a book. Everybody got a book. I'm going to buy a Portia book and review it. Y'all think that'll be messy. You know, I'll be falling out with people about these damn YouTube. So, and all I do is sit up here and tell the truth of my really truth. But, you know, I'm going to review her book. I think I am. I think it'll be exciting. I'm going to buy a whole lot of copies of it and give them away for free. I bought a whole lot of copies of this book here, and I gave them out of Heavenly, um, out of Heavenly University. Because I want black girls to know the mindset, like I say all the time, mindset of a millionaire. I want everybody to win. And everybody keeps asking me, Heavenly, why you give all the information for free? Why you tell people what to do for free? First of all, y'all ain't going to do this shit. Half the world lazy as hell. That's why it's, you know, rich, rich, rich people and there's poor, poor, poor people. There's certain rich, the elitist rich walked into that richhood and will always be rich because they, you know, one of the five or ten families up there that's going to always be rich. And it's all about generational wealth. But half y'all niggas ain't going to work. You can tell everybody everything. I'm telling you, it's a fact. Go look it up. You can give people all the information. Only 5% going to even look at it and only... Probably 0.1% going to be consistent with it. So you can give the information. That's how people make a lot of money. Giving the information. They know y'all not going to do it. And if you do do it, you ain't going to do it like me. So everybody individualized anyway. So I'm encouraging you guys to be that 5%. Be that 1.1%. You could do it. If you're talking about it, you read these books. All these books have pearls in them. And a lot of times they're the same damn thing being said over a, way, a different way. A different story. Or something. But a lot of times, like even me, and I've read a lot of books. You find one little thing that you did not think of. One thing you didn't think of, you're like, damn, I could do that and that will help me with what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Heavenly beauty. I could do that and I... Somebody understand what I'm saying. 
This business book I bought, I wrote this about 10, 15 years ago, okay? The love book I bought, I wrote about 10 years ago, 7, 10 years ago. But yeah, it's on my website or somewhere. It's on Amazon, baby. It's on Amazon. Now look up Dr. Hemley on Amazon, y'all. Google Dr. Hemley book. That's all you need to do. But make sure y'all like and subscribe. Because like I say, I got some candles. I'm going to start selling. And look, my sister make them. My sister makes them, and y'all know my little niece's name heavily, so I can just sell these shits just like they are. You know what I'm saying? And um, this is my favorite thing, though. This is what I love, scented candles. That's my favorite thing. I'm telling you, like, it ain't that much profit in the hill. But I want y'all to have these. They smell so good. Look at them. This is going to be on my website real soon, probably next week. Two, two weeks right after Christmas. Probably not in time for Christmas because, shit, I'm going to take a break. <laughs> Candles my favorite thing. And I know everybody's selling candles, but shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm selling clothes. I'm selling hair, bundles, and candles. And I got the Cambodian hair. Anybody want some hair? Everybody selling hair. But y'all not selling no teeth, boo. Y'all can't touch me on the teeth because everybody can't do it. But I do that other stuff for my daughter and my kids. You know what I'm saying? Just in case anything happens, you need to have something outside of your profession, in my opinion, to fall back on. And if you got a store like Man Hair, you can sell them clothes. You can sell that hair. Sell them bundles, candles, and then, you know, of course, I'm going to have dental products and books. I got books. Why not sell them? Sell it. Um, any other questions? I've been on here 20 minutes talking about nothing. But how you, how, how do you find your king? That's when we came out. I told you, first of all, you got to be consistent. You got to be competent. You got to be confident. You got to do the same thing. You got to have the right location. Put yourself in the right location because if you're in a place, ain't no men. How you going to find them? So a great place to find men, let's think about it. Where do men be at? Where are the men? The straight men. Um, if you're young, go to college. That's the best place to meet a man. If you can go to a, to a higher education, medical school, dental school, any kind of un, uh, uh, graduate degree, do that. There's some men there. And men are looking for the same thing that you're looking for. They're looking for a beautiful girl that ain't stuck up. You know what I'm saying? That's me. Man, I, look, there was some pretty girls in my hair. I'm talking about really pretty. And I'm a grown man. I'm a heterosexual woman. And I can tell you there's some beautiful girls. But they would be so damn stuck up because they thought they were so pretty. And I would just get off. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like heavenly. I was never lacking for a man. I ain't even lying either. And I chose my man. I knew, well, he chose me. But I knew exactly what I wanted in the man. I put it on my vision board. Somebody heard this before. And I said to God, this is exactly what I wanted in a man. And when that dude showed up, I knew who he was. So my whole thing is come up with a plan. Put yourself in the right place. Don't be stuck up. A man want the same thing you want. He, you can play hard to get. A lot of dudes like to chase initially. But damn it, sometimes y'all play too hard and miss out on the damn prize. You know what I'm saying? So you can play. You can play a little game. Dudes like to chase a little bit. Let them chase it. Don't give it away. But let them chase it. Don't have sex right away. Contrary to probably. Well, I did. But don't listen to me. Don't do what I did. Wait a while. Let them wait, baby. Let them work for it. Let them get to know you before you have sex with them. You know what I'm saying? But it don't matter if your stuff good. So, anyway, keep going. Let's see. Um, What's your question? Thank you, Dr. Hamlin, for the jewels. See, Kimberly, I'm trying to help y'all. Hey, beautiful Dr. Hamlin. How are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, y'all. It's almost time for Christmas. Can y'all believe it? I ain't bad shit. I bought some a Bitcoin. And I bought four Ethereum, and then I took some money, and I diversified it in the rest of those cryptocurrencies. And I keep telling y'all I'm going to bring somebody on. Jewel's supposed to come on. Melly Show, go come on. I got a list of people coming on my show. And y'all know when Mary the Medicine start, I'm going to re review that mother tucker. Because it's a lot of mess. A lot of mess. It's, it's, it's explosive. I'm going to say that. I mean, Explosive. Y'all doing everything on Mary the Medicine. Y'all need to slow down because Mary the Medicine is, I ain't going to say nothing. I'm not going to say nothing. I ain't going to give it away. Who got demoted since there is a new girl in the mix? What happened to Mary? I just told you, I don't know. Shit, I'm trying to get her on. I need to call her. She had phone number changed and then she sent me her new number. She just busy. Jewel, Jewel will be on real soon. You know, I got more time after tomorrow, after tomorrow, after uh Tuesday. Because I'll be off for two weeks. And then I think we filming and by the end of January. I know we finished filming, but they be, you know, I stay in the mess, so I'm always filming. So, you know. 
Just it is what it is, child. And y'all can judge me if you want to, but baby, it, it, we, 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 we will not disappoint. Girl, I ain't doing that. Uh, when, when I'm wrong, when in Rome, is that say when in Rome? Mama can't see. Uh, Kimberly Wilson, heavenly, because I don't smoke and drink, speak, speak proper. I'm white and a good girl, so I have to wait. No, no. But if you, you don't do nothing. Well, I'm sure it's a dude out there that would appreciate that in you, but he gonna find another chick that he cheating on you with that's gonna have a drink with him. That is gonna smoke with him too. That's gonna have a good time. Like, don't drink as a, whatever. I know that's bad advice, but there's somebody out there for you. Man, most men cheat anyway, girl. Don't worry about it. He gonna find somebody to drink with. Anyway, that's bad advice. As long as quite and heavily good, then I don't care who beef him. Yep. Praise the Lord. Let's see. I ain't giving y'all nothing. Uh, yeah, she changed the number. I have her new number, but uh, yeah, she got a number. Um, let's see. Where did see the married to medicine you reunion? Hey, y'all do a um campaign to get Nicki Minaj to do our reunion. Shit. I know we not really housewives. We married to medicine and we own purveyors of pop and not the same production company. But y'all call me Nicki Minaj. Somebody who watching these blogs, put it out there. Nicki, we want you to do our reunion too, but we love you too. We want you to get messy with us. We want you to cuss me out too. You cuss me out, Nicki. I ain't gonna say nothing because you're so pretty. Come on and do our reunion, Nicki. Come on, somebody start a petition. Get Nicki Minaj to do our damn reunion too. She like it. She do it. She want to do it. And she good at it. That's what I'm talking about. Be competent. But you got to be consistent if she want to do it. Call somebody. Call Nicki Minaj up and tell her. That's my girl. I don't know her though. I recommend joining a sorority frat. I'm a member of DST. I've been to some nice men. And ten, la, 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 la. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I mean, she's saying join a fraternity or sorority, you know, to meet men. Shit, I done messed up. But I knew all them girls that was Delta. They didn't have no damn man. I always had a man. I ain't even lying. Them girls that was... The, the, the Q's like the girls that was... They call them us generic hoes because we didn't have no, no letters. But the Q's like the girls that wasn't Delta. I don't know why. That's my, my experience. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm totally wrong. But the Q's love Dr. Heavily. I'm just saying the bros... Just saying, the Deltas did not have a man, so that ain't good advice to me. I don't think I don't think that's gonna get your man. I mean, it ain't gonna harm you from getting a man, but that ain't gonna. I don't think that's gonna help you. Y'all need funky. No, y'all need funky. Need to do y'all funky. That's an option too. He messy as hell. Rihanna follows quiet. Nikki follows heavenly. Okay, let's see. Most students in the master's program are here are female, and that's the trouble. Even in undergrad, when we was there, and this is 30 years ago, when I was at FAMU, it was 15 to 1. That means 15 black women to every one man. It didn't seem like that because I always had a boyfriend, but you know, it was 15 to 1. I don't know what happens to our black men. I don't know, but I do know that black women are leading in education, they're leading in business, they're leading in everything. So we got to help our brothers come up. But you know, all my programs, like even Dr. Heavenly University, <clears throat> I extended it to everybody. Um, the new graduates, to me, if I was them, I would have said, <clears throat> let me go. A white man, listen, Rob Dinker, right? My lab guy, he sponsored these people. He sp to me, that's, that's big because he sponsored... African American people, well, it was females because they they the ones that chose to take the opportunity. But he sponsored them to come on and come out and learn. To me, that's that's great. That's why I will always promote him. He's with Integrity Dental Services. If y'all go on my page on Instagram, I'm always promoting him because I thought it was big of him to give big money to promote um and, and sponsor students, not students, but gra graduates, graduating seniors and residents to come to Dr. Heavenly University. I thought that was big. Rob Dinker, y'all follow him, Integrity Dental Services. Your son can be my king. No, he can't. No, he can't. It's going to be a lot to go through to get to my babies, okay? They're not ready, okay? No, no. Mm -mm. No, boo. You can't get my boys, okay? They special to me but you know what they totally different i ain't gonna go into but my other boy like these and the other one like hood red hood let me stop i ain't gonna say that 
Pray for me. Listen, we coming up on our 30 minutes. How to find your king? Go out there and get him, baby. Make sure everybody know you want a man, okay? Because there's a lot of friends out there that will set you up with somebody. Go online. Online date. Ain't nothing wrong with online date. Just go to a public place. You know, talk to them for real. You never know really, but shit, you don't never know nobody anyway. So if you meet somebody online, talk to them for a little while. If they seem like they're okay, I would say get their ID and do a background check. Give me your ID, boo. You know what I'm saying? And then when you meet them, meet them in a public place during the day. People at night, they be wanting to come home with you and all that. No, meet them for lunch. That way you ain't got to worry about it. If you don't like his ass, it's lunchtime and I got to go back to work. So you got a chance to call him back if you want to or you ain't got to see him no more. So that's the thing. Go to places that men are, single men are. Men that's hungry. It's healthy. Go to the Whole Foods store. Go to games. You know, a lot of dudes hang together at the football game, basketball game. What do men like to do? The racetrack, top golf. Go with men are uh, online, probably your best best sister based on the COVID. And just, you know, they catfish. You know, they ain't real on there sometimes, but you got to do your sifting. But I know a lot of people that found a good man online, okay? Did y'all learn how to find your king? Make sure y'all like, follow, and uh, subscribe. Follow me on IG at DR underscore heavenly. Like I say, I be selling these damn candles. They smell so good. We got the hair in the bundles. You know my hair ain't never fixed, but shit, you understand. A lord of face of heavenly beauty. And you know, of course, I got you covered. Smile that out of heavenly. And see my husband, P.I. He does personal injury, Roswell pain specialist. And y'all know y'all better watch Mary the Medicine when it come out, okay? All right? All right, y'all have a good night. Bye-bye. Find your king, boo.